I've just got back from Horizon. It's my final trip to Horizon before I escape my new tank. Um, this whole tank and project has been sponsored by Nicole and James at Horizon, which is amazing of them. They've been super helpful. They've helped me with obviously the tank that they have given, different hardscapes, um, what kind of plants to get. They've ordered plants in for me. They this morning have helped me with lily pipes, different CO2 things. Um, and we've messaged back and forth quite a lot about this tank, so they've been amazing with everything. Um, it is a water box clear mini 16, so it's 16 gallons or just short of, and it's about 72 litres. It was actually myself and George Farmer who put together the skate for this tank when we were at Horizon last time. So this is the skate. So tonight I'm hopefully going to stick these bigger bits of wood to some rocks which I bought today to kind of bury them into this substrate so that they sink and you know there's no floating wood. Most of it has been soaked and the smaller pieces should be fine but these bigger pieces took a little bit more. Then I'm going to cover all of it with sand, plant some of the liliopsis into the sand which I've got a couple of grow pots of that to kind of give it a natural um, feel for where the rams live in the wild they have bits of grasses coming out of the sand then i've got some rotala which i'm going to put kind of around this area and into the back with some other taller plants so that the flow of the water pushes them over the top of the wood to give the rams this little secure area in here where hopefully they will breed and then they'll have the more open water over this side we also have some CO2, a diffuser, a bubble counter. I'm going to just kind of start the tank off on minimal CO2 just to kickstart the plants and get them going. Colorado ADA sand, which I have this in my other tanks and I, I do really love the colour of this sand. And obviously with these rocks, it goes pretty well. It's kind of orange and yellow colours, so they will go well. Um, glass lily pipes, which need to go on and it will be a a Wazoo filter, 250 is the one that I've got, so that will be going onto this tank too. And then obviously some more plants in that side. My plant prep, and I'm now just going to sprinkle some of the Tropica Nutrition capsules throughout all of this substrate. I've done this before in my other tanks and it just gives the plants a better chance, gives them a bit of a boost, um, and it lasts for quite a long time. So I'm just gonna do that. These are really hot. I love these little capsules anyway, I use them all the time um, because I travel for work quite a lot. So I don't always get the chance to be home and um, keep up with my nutrition. So I've just finished putting all of the sand in to cover up the substrate. Um, I've sprayed it all down because I'm going to plant into the sand. I'm not looking for a carpet of plants. I just want kind of random bunches of grass so that it looks a bit more natural. So I've just finished putting all of the kind of carpety plants in. Um, like I said, I don't want a full carpet, I just want bits kind of dotted around so I feel like I've got to the point where I need to put my taller plants in to get more of a feel for it so I'm going to fill the tank pretty much to the top put those taller plants in and see where there's some gaps or where I think some other plants will look good I'm also just checking that my um, carpeting plants are not going to just float up out of the substrate
So this is the tank finished. Um, I've let it sit for a little bit, obviously it's still covered in air bubbles, but this is it complete. So we've got Liliopsis in the bottom here in little clumps. I might add some more of this. I do have another pot, so I might add some more kind of throughout this back area. Um, we have hydrocotyl in there and then a bigger one in the back, which I'm hoping will grow quite tall and kind of fill out the back section. We've got little rotalas throughout, which will hopefully fill in and add a bit of color next to these other taller plants, which I cannot remember the name of. Um, and then I grabbed obviously this moss, which I just spotted in one of the other tanks and I really liked it and I'm so glad I got it because there was little bits of glue that you could see on here where I'd stuck the wood together. So that has come in handy for that. So I've just dotted that throughout and I might add some more of that later as well. So this tank obviously is gonna have a bit of CO2. I've got that set up in the background. Just the um, Tropica kind of starter kits. I had some already from another tank that I used I use these on to kickstart, so I'm going to use that up. So my little CO2 diffuser is just going down there. You can actually hardly see it. It's kind of tucked in the back. We have a 250 filter on this, which is already cycled, or it already has some cycled media in it from my other tanks. So hopefully it shouldn't be too long before we get this going. And then obviously a twin star light. But I'm very happy with how this turned out.